What is up, everybody? How is it going? Hopefully, the stream is going to go smooth this time. All right. Say hi in the chat. I'll try to say hi as well. And we'll just wait for a second before we officially get started. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, that's pointing correctly. I got the shotgun mic up there. <sighs> Hello, Derek. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Casper the Ghost. Boggin, hello, Wouter. All right. Let us just get this show on the road. For those of you who are new to this, this is a UI UX review show where basically you submit your designs and other people submit their designs. We take a look at them and then we rate them. Um, and I'll ask you guys to rate them as well in the chat on a scale of one to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best. And how do you submit for a review? Well, it's probably too late because I've already been accepting all of these reviews and I'm probably not gonna be able to get through all of them. The only way you can get me to review your your your, uh, your work at this point if you haven't submitted already is probably to send a super chat. Details are in the description. You have to send at least the equivalent of five US dollars or more. And the reason I did that is because people were just putting in really tiny amounts and then nobody in the regular chat got enough time to be reviewed anyhow. So. Um, let us go ahead and get started with the very first one. So I posted this uh, like 70 minutes ago or so, and we got all of these submissions already. So we're gonna get ready to rock. It actually looks like, you know, there's still some time if you wanted to submit down here. All right. Oh, by the way, before we get started here, I, I do wanna do a little update just to show you all where I'm at in terms of the designcourse.com relaunch. And I'll show you all the modules that we have so far. Uh, so there's 31 so far at this point. And these are all the modules that I've created. So um, there's a mix. There's, I, you know, there's courses, which really there's just one course. I'm trying to keep everything kind of like a situation where you don't have to watch like hour long courses or whatever and then where, where you're not able to do any actual work yourself. So uh, the only course is just UI design fundamentals, only 45 minutes long. Um, but the rest are videos, just like single videos and then also tests and then also challenges. Um, I think there's three or four challenges, but basically the, the way it works is I, I show um, how to do something like for instance, I you learn about card design uh, in this 15 minute video and then you take these tests that help you try to figure out what is wrong with these particular examples of cards and then you do a challenge where you submit it and then I review it. Uh, and we have beta testers and we've been doing it, it's really fun, people are improving. Anyhow, that's enough of that. Uh, make sure you go to designcourse.com, enter your email if you haven't yet to be notified. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So. Yeah, I'm thinking there's probably gonna be 100 plus modules by the time I'm done. So we're looking at several months out still. I can't wait. All right, so this is a COVID tracker. We're starting off with a COVID tracker. Um, can I expand this? Like, can I view it? I this. Can I zoom up? All right, I do have to say this is really, really text heavy. Um, and there's an issue too. The, the primary issue here is like in these cards, there's an issue alignment. Um, there's not equal white space around the card container. Um, and also your labels are the same color as the data itself. So you, it, 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 there's an issue of what, what we call visual hierarchy. You're not sure where you're supposed to look first because everything's styled very similar, even though the sizes are different. So you need to simplify that greatly um, in order to improve those cards. Um, and you just do that through uh, coloring and or contrast. And that would help a lot better. 
Um, there's also some funky alignment occurring here. Like we have this left align, but this is kind of like just right aligned. So there's an issue of alignment occurring here in this example, at least. Um, so yeah, I would just simplify it as much as possible. Because this isn't a live project though, I'm not gonna bother with a rating. Thank you for the submission though. Let's go on to the next one. All right. All right. Okay. So there's a number, there's definitely a few issues occurring here. So the first issue that I noticed right away is alignment, all right? So there's an issue of alignment here. We have established a column that starts where software concepts, the logo, I presume, begins, which is right here, and then immediately offset is just right here. Things would flow so much better if you made them both either right here, like make software, like this whole section, push that over in line with where the logo begins or push the logo over to where this begins. Either way, it needs to be aligned better. Um, next up, I would say uh, you have an issue of, of scale and this could also be considered a visual hierarchy issue as well in, in a co composition uh, issue and a gestalt issue is uh, you have really large icons right here and they demand a lot of attention uh, because they're, they're arguably the largest element because they're also bold and highest contrast on this page. Uh, and so this right here, your call to action, it seems like it's more lost. Uh, it, it's less priority than these icons and these icons aren't important at all. Uh, so there, there's a lack of balance here. Um, this should be much more prominent and we could establish that by having more white space underneath this container because this, 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 these, these two columns are like, this is the hero section really. Um, and so we need to make that more prominent and you could do that through scale. Also white space by pushing these elements down like this whole section and also um, reducing the size and or contrast of these icons right here. Um, and then also this, this white border, nope, completely get rid of that, that's unnecessary. Um, it just adds clutter. And you can use borders, but really they should be very faint, uh, not much contrast at all. Um, and then we kind of have this section here where we have a, a middle, a center aligned uh, headline, and then everything is left lined over here. So there's just a big issue here, uh, just in terms of overall layout. So you, you'd be a, a perfect person to join Design Course when it's ready. Um, but let's go ahead and give this a rating, one being the worst and 10 being the best. We do have a light mode and a dark mode working here. Oh, and by the way, if you do submit your um, your project to the Discord server in the negative space uh, submissions channel, there's a chance it will be featured on the what I call the second episode of uh, Rapid Redesigns, which I'm gonna be releasing on Monday. So I go through those and I just kind of pick three and then upload it as a regular video where I redesign um, your submission. All right, some people are saying four, two, <laughs> brutal. Um, one thing I will say that's working for this is pretty much scale's pretty good for the type, um, contrast is good, there's no major issues there. So people can at least be able to access and read the content, which is the most important part. Um, so yeah, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a, it is responsive, so there's no, no major issues there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a, let's see here. Four point eight or so. Four point nine. I think that's pretty fair. Alright. Next up is Ooh, we got some fancy stuff happening here. I'll refresh it. One second here. Alright, let's refresh. We got a double cursor. So the only thing is I would say 
uh, to increase that a little bit quicker from going from that, you know, from going from, you know, initially visiting a site to this point, just a little bit quicker. All right, front end developer and designer, all right. Some cool things happening here. Um, one thing I would advise against, and I actually made a post about this on Twitter last week, is if you're going to customize the scroll bar here, make sure it's wide. I know it looks kind of cool if you make it real thin, but that's that's an issue uh, for some people. Maybe their mouse scroll wheel doesn't work, and so then they're going to be stuck trying to click within a like literally six pixel <laughs> width bar. So just make it bigger. Um, yeah, to definitely do that. Um, this is obviously a very uh, elegant sort of uh, take, um, which is refreshing. Yeah, there's nothing major uh, in, in terms of issues occurring here in terms of the design. Um, I think I might want to redo this section or just try maybe a two column approach just to fill out this area a little bit more. Oh, we have some cool 3JS. I assume this is 3JS. Um, transitions happening here. Honestly, for me, I would probably get rid of the outer or the inner one. I think having two of them is just, it's, it's just a bit much, in my opinion. All right, this is actually, yeah, pretty solid. Um, just that, you know, the scroll bear issue. But yeah, this is this is pretty solid. What, uh, what do you all think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. One thing, make sure you get an actual form. Uh, a form that people can use on the site. Just allow it, just, this alone isn't enough. Um, so, because people might not have email clients installed on their phone. I'm, I'm kind of one of those people. Um, so having a form would be ideal as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a, uh, this will be a 7.9. So quite solid. All right, next up is a Figma design. All right, checking it out. All right, Dot Productions. I think the logo needs a little bit of attention. Um, in terms of just, well, this isn't an identity design review show, um, but I think it could be improved a bit. Maybe move productions up a little bit more, um, but we'll, we won't focus on that. Um, let's see here. One thing I would probably be wary of, I'm fairly certain if you ran the white text onto this orange background, that wouldn't that wouldn't be a three to one uh, contrast ratio, it would be less than that. So. You would need to try to boost this up by probably possibly darkening the background. Um, I do like the actual button design and the secondary button design right here. I like the staggered approach to the gallery of this image. Good white space. Um, yeah, this is all solid. I'm not a fan of this section. This is kind of like an old school approach. Um, just using the watermark background and then having containers on top of it with opacity. 
So I probably rethink that section right there. But everything else here is pretty solid from what I see. There's nothing, you know, this is a solid design. What do y'all think this person should get? One being the worst, 10 being the best based on this design. Does anybody has anybody ever had forearm pain like where their their mouse their their mouse hand sits like for the past several months this muscle right here can you see this where am I at this muscle uh, trying to get in view like this one right here it is like sore whenever I try to like pick something up or do certain things in the gym oh my god it's just like painful all right um, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one is a this is another high one. Um, because it's not fully realized in the browser, I, I might take a, a little work from that. I'm gonna give that like a 7.8. All right, next up is this one. All right. Okay, so I, I actually like the, the graphic here, this photograph. Um, I do think this whole section right here could be improved um, in a couple ways. So first, is this in a container? Yeah, I wonder if I could do this. I think everything needs to be boosted up to like at least this size because where it was before, it was too small. Um, and then probably also maybe push it down to center it vertically. Um, and then also there's some issues with the type right here. Um, this type right here, it looks like the uh, the line height. Uh, it's just, it's, it's a little bit too close together. Uh, so we need to improve that. Um, but a good, pretty good call to action button. It sticks out quite well, um, so that works. Uh, but here's what her, here's what the original size was. Quite small. It's too much of an afterthought. It seems like the hand is like a lot more prominent and dem demands too much attention. Um, let's come down here. All right, now we have some issues. So this whole section, good design is forever. And then having to quote just the, the person's name way off over here and then just this this border and then it being so small like there's not a lot of white space I would completely just get rid of that section um, just delete it I mean in doing so you're gonna make it design like I, I can delete it right here I think I might not be able to yeah there we go so it's already been more simplified and just looks better right off the bat when you scroll down um, yeah, I would probably, I don't know why there's so much line height here. I would reduce that. Get these on the same exact column because for some reason this is inset by a few pixels compared to where this starts, this headline. Um, and then also get them centered vertically within this container. Um, next up. I can immediately improve this section here. So if I take these, this is an issue of a uh, typographic visual hierarchy, all these big words. Um, oh, we're using font, font, uh, HTML elements. Um, let me just show you how I can improve this here. So like this right here is a lot better because it's I uh, it's the title and it's the thing that should be sticking out the most. See if you compare it to these ones, it's a little bit bigger than this type, and so there's not a lot of a distinction. So um, definitely do something more like this as opposed to what we have happening here. Also, this is kind of a no-no where you have 
your description here it's sitting right perfectly on the edge of that that high where it says high I would offset the high um, and maybe also reduce the opacity even more or reduce the contrast this I can't really read very well because of this high back uh, high contrast background and then also accessibility issue with the form the text fields um, look at the background it's on it's almost white and then it's just like a shade lighter for the uh, the text field so that needs to be improved for sure um, just because it's going to be hard for some a lot of people even your normal per person with with normal vision to to be able to know where to click so also it's redundant to put the label as the placeholder value in here you don't need to do that um, get rid of the placeholder value I'll show you how you can style these up I mean there's a lot of different ways um, subjective ways to style these up pr appropriately um, let's get rid of the placeholder first of all and then also we'll do something like uh, border we could do one pixel solid I uh, just like that one pixel solid and then we can do padding to beef them up in size a little bit like uh, one M unit perhaps really get them nice and big and then also margin bottom to space them all out so now if they were all styled like this it would be much better and a, a lot more usable and then look at the send button why is that so thin <laughs> Oh man, you got to give people a, a, an area to click on. All right. Also, contrast issues over here. Can't really see phone. All right. What do you all think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, ten being the best. I'm going to go ahead and say A 5.6. All righty. Okay. Let us go and continue. Was that the one that I just did? I think yeah that is the one okay I just want to make sure um, another Figma prototype all right so yeah, we have some topography issues here for sure. This headline needs to be, and also it looks like there's extended letter spacing. Um, definitely need to, to improve that right there. Just use stick to the default letter spacing. I uh, that would be much better. Um, also, where it shows, I uh, th this yeah, this whole area just needs to be re reworked, and then somebody has to be an ass with their um, cursor right there uh, <laughs> 216 all these labels um, I can't read that there's no way like that co the color contrast is completely off like not enough at all that those need to be white um, you know what honestly this is probably one of the designs I'll probably do a redesign in Monday or Tuesday's video where I do rapid redesigns another episode uh, because this can be improved uh, quite a bit. Just a lot of issues um, in terms of contrast and topography primarily. Um, so yeah, this could definitely be improved quite a bit. Um, like the register and login buttons. Typically, I would style those differently from each other because they're they're two very different ideas um, you'll want to you want to emphasize the register more so than login just because it has a higher priority to get new users um, 
not enough white space on the outside of the container. Plus, while you're also using just outlines and borders, uh, it, it just it doesn't draw a lot of attention to it at all, and it kind of clutters uh, in, in terms of design. So we'll go ahead and rate this. What do you all think this person should get for a rating? Like this right here where it says e uh, easy to earn money and then just putting a dash and then putting things to the right and then they're not equal equal like the like this line and then this one's offset. It just really kills the structure of the layout and makes it difficult to read. Um, I might actually do a redesign of this section here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this one probably a lower score of 4.5 or so. Alrighty, next up. I'm starving. All right, uh, let's see here. Lack of contrast in the categories drop-down menu. Um, also, you don't even need a drop-down menu. If this is your only link in the in the um, the navigation, and there's only these five, you know, you have enough room to put these all out right here. After that, not sure about this font. I mean, it looks almost like what font is that? Or basalmic sands, but it looks like like this blog text. It looks like Comic Sans, honestly. Um, more white space above the more button. So like margin top. That's better. That's a lot better right there. Um, what else? So for your tags. I'm not a fan of, of really emphasizing the uh, tags because these look like buttons almost the, the way you've done this. I think a better approach for tags like this is to understate them a little bit more. So what we would do is take off that background color and then maybe just make it like that and then change the font color to something like this. Something that definitely will pass the contrast ratio, which it does. Uh, in this context. So obviously once you get pictures here, these will look a lot better and less you know, gray um, as it does. But that way, you're not giving so much emphasis to the tags unnecessarily. All right, what do y'all think this person should get for a rating? It's simple, but uh, we might as well rate it. Also, I would try to get at least three columns, not just two where there's a bunch of space in between them. You want to fill this out a little bit more. And you could also, you, you have the room, you can make this container larger so that you would have enough room to put three, uh, at least three columns. There wasn't a lot that was horribly wrong with this, so I'm not going to rate it something low like a four. Um, just because it's bland and it, part of that is this these these ugly, you know uh, temporary images um, So for the most part it was it's accessible and, and it's nailing it down. So I'm gonna give this one a Just a flat-out Maybe like 5.96 or so It's just it's obviously unfinished too, so all right, next up, uh, was that the one I just looked at or no? No, here's a new one. Oh no, we got something that's loading up. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Let's refresh this. Let's scroll. I would say make it easier to click on this link and not have to hover directly just over the text so I create like a padding around of it. 
pretty solid. I'm not sure what that button does. Does it just take you back to the home? What is that? Is that supposed to be the logo, I think? That's a little bit strange and confusing to me. Um, especially it gets a little bit cluttered around here. Uh, I thought these this was honestly just the way to get back up to the top because <laughs> they're like two arrows. So I would probably rethink that and probably make it not fixed because uh, it ends up getting a little bit cluttered. I, I bet you especially if I take this in possibly, it's gonna overlap some of your content like that. That's something you don't want. So I probably wouldn't make it sticky. Other than that, this is real solid. Uh, really good white space, good contrast. It's a monotone approach, um, pretty much. Uh, and it's, yeah, pretty solid. All right, what do y'all think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of completely just removing the mouse cursor and relying on the design alone. I'm gonna give this one a 8.2. I think that's, yeah, that's probably our highest uh, so far today. Good job. And let's continue, let's see here. A work in progress. All right. Refresh, see if there's any animation. There is not. There's some type of spinning thing down here. Um, not sure what purpose exactly that serves. Um, art is not what you see, but it is what you make others see. All right, so lack of white space, first of all. So this is gonna be improved greatly if I can take this margin uh, and it's put in like, let's see here. There we go. Now this, this looks a lot better than the original. If I refresh, you'll see the original where it's just almost hugging the left side of the browser. You don't want that. Um, you want a lot of white space in there, so that's easier to read um, for sure. Next up, more white space also around your, um, this whole nav bar section up here, which hopefully it's wrapped in its own container, and it is. Um, padding is just one rem and 1.5 rem, so really I would just change both these to like um, three rem, on the right, I might do like five rem, which, oh, that's on the left. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. Now this looks a lot better than what was there originally. If I refresh, you'll see the original. They're, they're hugging. There's not enough white space around that container area entirely. Um, so I would fix that. What is happening? Why do some of them change and the other ones don't? And what is this? What is this? I guess this is like art, I guess. Oh, okay, so it's for an artist, but you can't click on them, unfortunately. Um, you can click view all. Now this down here was too much of an afterthought. Like I didn't see this until now. So you need to think about how you can really make it easier for people to find more of your work rather than just hiding this way over here to the right. All right, what do you think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. waiting for your answers. For me, hmm, 
I'm gonna have to give this one a I would also probably choose a different font by the way probably um, I'm gonna give this one a rating of Six point three. Yeah, I think that's pretty solid. Thank you for the submission and let us continue. Issue of contrast right away. All right, so it's it is quite hard to see this home button, the active state, which it's good that you cr included an active state. Not enough people actually do that. Um, but based on the background, it doesn't really, there's not enough contrast. So I'd rethink that out. Um, next up is, oh, and also let's see this area. Yeah, the, things are a little bit lost here. So what I would do is probably take the photograph and just darken it more. So you increase the contrast of everything sitting on top. This section here is pretty good. Good white space, good type. I mean, it's obviously very simple. One thing I don't like is the inconsistent, um, you have this button here centered, which I think it should be left aligned. And then you have this one over here left aligned. So there's, there's inconsistency in terms of how you're doing things in your patterns. Uh, they don't become patterns at that point. Um, so yeah, I would adjust those few things. Um, not sure what else is going on here. All right, what do y'all think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. It's, it's obviously very simple. No more than three. Or was he referring to the other one? Oh boy. Ugh. I'm gonna say a 6.9 or so or a 7 pretty close let us continue uh finished site oh sweet we got a finished site i love finished sites because we get to see the whole thing in action all right there was some type of loading animation occurring refresh okay all right, unfortunately, the way this uh, th this photograph here is very high contrast, many colors, many things occurring here. Uh, it's good that there's not a lot of content on top of it. However, I think, okay, first there's a few things um, happening with your balance here or visual hierarchy, whatever you wanna call it. It's, this is quite large. It is. It really is quite large. I would scale this down probably about uh, almost half of what it is, or maybe a little bit larger than half. Um, and then maybe even consider wrapping this whole section here that wraps around these links in a black background that is like R using the RGBA uh, CSS color function and taking the, the opacity down um, maybe like 50% or something. That way you can increase the contrast of these elements right here. Um, this just says high end. I think you could probably squeeze in a couple, couple more um, words. In, in fact, it doesn't even make sense to have this subheading when this could probably just be all st stuffed here. In, in terms of actual ad copy though, you wanna emphasize in your headline benefits over features. So a feature is high end detailing and ceramic coating solutions. No, I would change this to something like, uh, uh, let me think. You, you, ad copy is one of those things you, ha you have, it has to take time. So I'm not sure if I can do this on the spot, but you wanna see something like uh, 
we make people turn heads when you drive. That's dumb. I wouldn't use that, but you want something cool like that. I giving giving your giving your car that extra spark or something like that, you know, because this is a detailing business. And then you can go into the actual uh, features of your business in the subheading. Um, but this particular image, while it's cool, and this is fine because it's a really large headline, which is good. Um, you might want to reconsider the image, um, maybe, maybe um, because you do have this type right here, and it kind of gets lost in all the details of the photograph. Maybe uh, making it darker, this photograph, or using. Follow along with my uh, my YouTube video that I uploaded yesterday. Four ways to use uh, photog photographs in your UI design. So like I go over the different techniques of how to use photographs like in this exact context. I uh, and getting these type of images like where there might be a focal point of a car um, and then I uh, having an area that's less busy like in this example. So definitely check that out. Um, what else here? Yeah, can't really see these very well. So if you're going to stick with this, maybe make the the background white with black text, and then when you hover over it, it could change red. But this like that, it's too hard to read. Other than that, pretty solid. What do y'all think this person should get for a rating? Right now, this is a 4K resolution, so this is almost maxed out at 4K. Well, there goes all my water. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a rating of probably just a flat 7.0 I think people are saying I, I rated too high <laughs> all right next up is a Figma prototype issue with typographic visual hierarchy this text right here should be a lot smaller this information or this little illustration should probably be pushed over more to the right in order to give this section more room. Um, so your scale is off here in this section. Oh yeah, definitely issues with your, your type. So you, you need to really focus on, on establishing good type uh, typographic visual hierarchy as it's called. You wanna fix this quite a bit uh, because this is hard to, you have three different things four different things happening here. You have the title, then you have uh, like a subhead, and then you have a description right here, and then you have like a quote. And they're all only slightly different from each other. You want big differences between your different types of content that you have. And also white space. This is all like a run on here. You do that and it would be much better. You, you would increase the, uh, the design much 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 better all right so one being the worst ten being the best what do you think this person should receive as a rating also more white space between these elements and scale them down uh, these, these nav items Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this one a 4.9 or a five, basically. All right, cool. Um, we got a super chat. Thank you very much, Pedro. Uh, I've been following your content for a year. I would love to hear your opinion on my portfolio. Let's find 
this user. Why is it not here? Hmm. Okay, apparently, oh, that must not be your Discord username then. Uh, let me look and see if there's, maybe there's an issue or something. I'm looking for the username, I can't really, let me see here. Okay, it's just a, uh, it's a dot .com, okay, I found it. Here we go. Refresh. See if there's any. All right, so there's no animation. Um, all right. Um, I'm not a huge fan. I, I, there are there are obviously a uh, different uh, color here. This is grayscale right here. I might want to scale down either or. So you could scale down, and not like massively, but having them the exact same size. I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess you could leave it like that. Um, I guess it's not a big deal. I I think one thing that's frustrating me is how we're able to see the second um, section down here, and it's kind of like just like confined. It's real. It's it's like almost like a mobile design. Uh, the way it looks and it feels like it was just kind of placed on there and that's it um, so this may be an issue that you're maybe new and you don't have enough projects but if you have more projects at least put this like three of them that way it'll fill out the entire width of the container as established right here all the way over here to this end of the contact and that way it doesn't feel like there's oh there's only one project obviously if you only do have one project, then design this stuff in such a way that it takes up a whole row, the whole the whole design, like in a row approach as, as opposed to this column based approach. Um, and again, your contact probably just, what's that, what's that do? Oh no, yeah, it's opening that up. So yeah, always put a form there. Um, obviously it's very simple. Um, but we, we, you definitely need to try to get more projects. Um, that's gonna help obviously sell you uh, much better. But again, if you only have one, you know, put these in a couple columns in their own like basic, big long card design, uh, the way you have it here, except in, in column format. All right. Um, yeah, one being the worst, 10 being the best. What do y'all think this person should get? I like the simplicity of it overall. Might want to scale down the size of this case study and maybe encase it in a button. It, it kind of competes with this headline a little bit, even though it is smaller, but it's not that much smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 6.9 or 6.8 or so. All right, next up is now I lost my space oh man trying to figure out where I was trying to think of uh, what was the last one that I, I was at all right I did that one all right I did not do this one All right, all right, all right. Pretty uh, basic uh, navigation, it appears to work. Um, no issue there. I'm not a huge fan of these styles of, of uh, illustrations. I just think they're so bland and boring that we could probably find something better. Um, but having said that, I mean, 
The headline is pretty good. You could probably get away with making it larger with all the space that you have. Um, but yeah, nothing like as horrible is happening. It's a good separation between your headline and subheadline. A few projects I would probably stick down a little bit further away from this type. Um, having said that, looking at this. So this almost looks like a placeholder type of design. Um, they're like real muted and gray. I would try to in introduce color, make them really colorful. Like make this one like some sort of, you know, vibrant purple or something, and maybe a yellow down here with black text on top of it, and maybe some other color. Um, that way you can really introduce life into this section of the design. I understand this is obviously a work in progress. I like pretty much like the alignment though. You might want to take these and and center them vertically within you know the context of this section here. Overall, not horrible. Um, just a little bland in parts, I would say. You know, with this up here and then this monotone section down here. So, what do y'all think this person should get for a ready? One being the worst, ten being the best. Speaking of bland, it's a bland, cloudy day. Sucks. I don't like cloudy weather. Four point eight nine two. I disagree. I think it might be four point eight nine one. No, uh, this is definitely more than a four point eight. I think for what it is, I think it could be like a. Uh, it's really not finished and it's kind of bland. So I'm gonna give this one like a 6.7 or so. Next up is who? Well, let's find out. All right, we are at 52 minutes. I'll probably do a couple more. Is this the one? Yeah, I, I just did that one, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wouter, your creative web developer. Alrighty. So this could be like so much more improved. You know, this is a cool graphic right here, but you could scale that thing up real big, stick it right on this side and maybe offset it so that half of it's maybe, or a portion of this part part is like off the screen. That way you can create a nice composition of sort. And then take this and make this stuff a lot bigger but also kind of just change it up. It's like your creative web, web developer and then this tiny little scroll icon, like I can barely even see that. That's not enough of, it, of a call to action. Um, so this whole area needs greatly uh, revamped. You know, I maybe uh, this, this is one of the ones I'll feature on my um, rapid redesign episode coming up on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, that's interesting. That text area is huge. <laughs> Look how massive. I don't think anybody is going to, maybe a spam bot, uh, but I don't think anybody is gonna be typing out that much uh, information. Also, you don't need enter your first name. I don't think you need that placeholder. You don't need to enter your email, it's already there. Make the, the labels a little bit larger, more white space underneath. And this big old button, expanding this length, with this tiny text inside and not enough contrast. Want to rethink that. What do y'all think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. I like that little um, thing right here that happens. It kind of opens up based on scroll. I'm gonna give, go ahead and give this one a 
5.3 or something like that. All right. We're going to do one more. It is a portfolio. All right, let's see here. Refresh. All right, subtle animation occurring here. Simple enough section up here. Now let's check the contrast here because it's pretty small text and it's pretty gray. The contrast is only 2.52. And so for text that small, it needs to be at least 4.5. So we can bump that up quite a bit. Um, there, that's at least what it should be. Notice it's 4.65. So those, it should be this much. Uh, and what is the size of that anyhow? It seems really small. Um, like I would boost that size up as well, like font size, at least to that, like 1.1, 1 1.2 rem units. One rem unit, I guess there is a lot better. Yeah, like this is really tiny, not, not good enough, that's for sure. This section's pretty cool down here. All right, what do y'all think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best. Yeah, I'm starving. I have to I have to conclude this. I can't do any more. <sighs> for me, I'm going to give this one a rating of 6.9. I am going to give you guys something cool to check out though. Let me show you. You guys can visit this right now. It's not done yet, but it's you can take some of my interactive tests from the upcoming designcourse.com launch. I'm going to be releasing a free ver like test game where it's a UI UX design test, interactive test thing. And there's going to be like probably 15 or 20 of these tests, but there's only like five or six of them right now. But you can take it right now from what's there. Um, keep in mind it's not done yet, but it's at, I think it's at designcourse.com. Oh crap, I'm not gonna be able to remember the uh, the URL because I, I recently cleared my browser cache. Um, let's see here. Let me try to find it off screen. Uh, let's see. Oh, Brad Traversy is, is messaging me. Um, let me go to admin. It's called the UI tests game. Let me think, let me see, see if I can get this done. Designcourse.com slash app slash UI tests game. I think that might be it. Darn. There it is. Here's the URL. I'm gonna put this in the, the chat here. And then you guys can uh, watch this video on how to take the tests. This requires no account, by the way. And then I show you how to take the tests. And right now there's just five of them. Like I said, there's gonna be 15 or 20. And they're gonna be all be free. And it just helps you become better at UI UX by playing this little interactive game by trying to determine what's wrong with this UI. Um, it would be cool if you guys who are watching this take this little test right now and let me know what your your final score ends up being because there's a point system up here uh, I would like to know like how like what points you get after taking five tests and also your thoughts uh, if you go just maybe to the generals no if you click on the design course com I uh, channel here in discord and let me know what you think of the test so far all right anyhow that is it I I'm going to get going and I will see you all soon. Uh, there will be a rapid redesigns or RRD as I'm calling it acronym, um, either Monday, this Monday or uh, Tuesday.